Hey everyone, so when I want to talk about those videos, I want to talk about a very special place inside your body, and that is the perineum. Uh, the perineum is, well, unless you understand the esoteric significance of it, um, it's just kind of this spot between the anus and the genitals, so it's the taint, the chode, the geech, there's a lot of different names for this area, the anal genital space, but the thing is, is it's actually, it's a, it's a place of a great deal of power. Um, those of you who are familiar with, let's say, with Montauk Chia's work, uh, he talks about perineum quite a bit. And any of you who've worked in, with Taoist practices in general are very familiar with perineum, but it's also a big thing in yoga. So the reason I want to talk about this a little bit is I want to um, not so much to give you practices here, but I want to hopefully get you to understand that the perineum can be used in some very interesting ways in order to direct energy. And the reason that it's really deeply effective, well, there's probably several reasons, but one of the reasons, um, particularly for men, is that it's also where the prostate sits, okay? But it's, this is also the, the root for women as well, right? So, so it's not just about the prostate. Um, this is a very powerful place also because it's a very far point from here, right? So in other words, in order for you to access and to gently contract or lift the perineum, it requires you move your awareness down inside of your body quite far. And not only that, but it also requires that you articulate something and contract something that most of us haven't done. So let's go ahead and just try this for a moment. And you can see how challenging this can be. Uh, you can go ahead and leave comments down below the video and just, you know, you can let me know how difficult this is or not. Some people actually have a great deal of um, ability to articulate those muscles around there. But just so you know, the perineum, there's mus muscles that connect through there. There's a lot of connective tissue. So you're even going to notice that if you contract your anus, you're going to feel your perineum contract as well. The whole pelvic floor is all intertwined, right? So go ahead and just take a deep breath in, close your eyes. Draw your awareness down to your pelvic floor, right to the space between the anus and the genitals, and try to gently contract with the air held in. Go ahead and exhale the air out. Try to contract with the air held out. Good. Go ahead and relax the contractions. Deep breath in. Exhale. All right, so what did you learn here? What you might have learned is that I can't contract that area. Should you find that disturbing? Nah, not necessarily disturbing, but what it does show you is that there's something to work on here, right? It's because the nervous system is not um, integrated into that space. Uh, if you start doing practices on a regular basis like Mula Banda or Root Lock, so that is you contract the anus, the perineum, the genitals, and then you pull in the belt line, that is Root Lock or Mula Banda, you start to gain the ability to contract and relax that area. And once you gain the ability to contract and relax that area, what you also can start to do, and this is um, something that I learned through various Taoist books, is that you can direct energy inside the body, right? So in essence, all the energy in the body functions kind of on a pressure gradient. So let me give you some, and a good example of this, and this is a real, uh, sort of blunt example, it's not real precise, but I'll go ahead and give you an example. So let's say you take a deep breath in and you contract your perineum. Can you see what happened? The upper part of my body just inflated. Okay, I'm gonna take a deep breath in without the perineum contracted. You probably, or you may not, have noticed that I'm inflating less up here and instead the inflation is mostly in the lower part of the body. So this is one of the very blunt ways you can actually release any tensions um, that you may have. Like for instance, I was able to release a tremendous amount of tension in my upper back, neck, throat, and heart space simply by learning to contract the perineum on inhale and allowing the breath to fill me up. And then once I felt like I was full, I would allow the body to adjust. So I allowed the body to adjust a little bit and then contract again inhale more once again allow the body to adjust keep the contraction inhale more and I did this until I was entirely full of air and, it, and what I'm doing here is the tube that which is the internal part of your entire body is it basically a tube meant to accommodate air 
Uh, so from the sinus all the way down to your pelvic floor, it's meant to, in essence, accommodate air. These are all postural muscles. So as you fill up and you allow your body to shift and adjust, and then you keep inhaling in very small segments with the perineum contracted, you'll start to release a lot of the fascia or connective tissue that has been held tense for a very long time. So this is something I've had to do quite often, uh, and it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful practice. All right, so that's on the sort of blunt or more sort of physical level of how working with the perineum could be helpful. Now on an energetic level, how can it be helpful? Mm. So in terms of the real subtle stuff, some of you out there are very energy sensitive, and if you are energy sensitive, you're gonna get this. Some of you who are not so energy sensitive, eh, this isn't, may not do a damn thing for you, but it's still worth knowing. So if I want to send uh, energy to, let's say, um, my armpit, all right? So how I would do this is several things. One is I'd start to breathe through the armpits first, right? So, um, they, you know, hair breathing is a big thing in Taoist practices. So you inhale. Well, first off, you have to place your awareness there, right? So the principle here is energy flows to where the attention goes. So you place your awareness at the armpits and you start to inhale. And it's as if you're pulling energy into the hair and the armpits, right? And as you exhale, you're washing it out. So you're kind of like scrubbing that pathway, inhaling, pulling energy in, exhaling, pulling out. Uh, sometimes you, the Taoists will have you create a slight suction on your tongue as you're doing this. And this, once again, it enhances the feeling of pulling in as you're inhaling. Okay. So after you've done that, you feel like you've sensitized yourself to the armpit areas. Now, if I want to direct energy there, again, keeping in mind what we have going on inside of us is a pressure gradient. Energy will generally flow downward towards its lowest point. It's like water flows down hill to its lowest point. So a lot of energy will simply settle back down to the root or it'll simply settle down into the sexual chakra, etc. So when you contract the perineum, this creates a pressurization upward. So let's say on my left armpit over here, I'm gonna go ahead and contract the perineum and inhale you can't see what's going on, can you? So now I've got this line of awareness between my perineum and my armpit, and I can feel tingling sensations. I can also, in my mind's eye, kind of see what looks like a plasma of light moving between my armpit and my perineum. And then I exhale and release. Now I can feel tingles all the way up and down my arm. It's very powerful, very interesting. And this is obviously much more effective if you have a lot of base energy to begin with, meaning you're not releasing uh, your sexual energy all the time, okay? So if you have some sexual energy discipline, and if you don't have a discipline, by the way, uh, check out the link down below the video for my Sovereign Tantric Sexual Energy Coaching Program. Eh. Anyway, you can check that out. But if you already have a discipline or you need a discipline or whatever it is, just keep in mind that if, you, if you're working with sexual energy, you have it built up. Again, it functions very much on a pressure gradient. When you start to contract that perineum, it will pressurize the energies, the vital life force upward. Okay, so then we start to be able to activate other areas inside of us. And this is how I send life force or healing energy to various parts of my body. And oftentimes I experience, again, a lot of tingling sensations, heat, flushing, um, and again, one of the other things I tend to experience quite often is the release of fascia or connective tissue. And fascia, from my understanding, the way I perceive it, is that collagen, which makes up fascia, binds water, it binds a molecule of water. And what that means is it's a conductor of subtle energy, of prana, of chi, whatever we want to call it. So when I pull up on that perineum, I inhale, again, which starts to help release fascia, direct my awareness to one side of the body, then to the other side of the body, whatever you're doing, then what you end up doing here is you start to release fascia, which then allows all the subtle energies in the body to move more freely, all right? So, so I, again, it takes a, a little bit of a reconditioning of how you're perceiving it, is energy flows in a lot of different ways. There's subtle energy channels all around your body, 
There's subtle energy channels inside the body, again, the connective tissue. And there's also the nervous system, which is the one we're most familiar with. So uh, I think that's all I want to mention about it. So again, if you want to activate areas inside the body, you want to activate centers, you want to release tensions, try perineum, try lifting it, contracting, inhale, and I'm sure you'll have some sort of experience. So with all that said, thank you for watching.